On May 28th of this year, 2024, in the year of our Lord, I purchased a QMX from QRP Labs. I decided that I would have them build it, and holy God, did it take a long time. I was like number 650th in line to get this thing. But finally, on October 6th, it arrived at my door a mere day before I was to ship out to Washington for the Pacific Beach outing. So now I have a beautiful QMX, and I've been gathering accessories, and I've actually been out here making an antenna specifically for this. This does 60 through 15 meters. That's the version that I opted for. So let me show you my gear, and I think because it's kind of the perfect time right now, it's a little after 5.30, 30 meters is actually open right now, 40 meters is open, all the bands are open right now, so I think it's a perfect time. Make a couple contacts on each band with FT8 and the QMX, and just have some fun. So let's take a look at this guy. So here is the beautiful QMX. One thing that I learned about the QMX is it doesn't really like regular batteries that we would use lithium iron phosphate. It's really kind of 12 volts is kind of the max. So I had to figure out a different solution. I was just going to use a 3 amp hour bioeno battery that I had, but 13.3 volts is too much. So my friend Kosher Pork Rinds gave me a few 18650 cells. Uh, inside this pouch, I made a three cell, uh, basically 12.6 volt, 12.2 volts really, uh, once it settles down battery out of 18650s. These are advertised as 3600 milliamps. I tested them, they're about 3300 milliamps, but I've got them wired in series. I've got a little BMS in here, and I got this little cable here that plugs right into the QMX. Now, while the QMX does have a speaker, because hopefully at some point in time, they're gonna develop uh, the firmware to make this do single sideband. Right now it just does CW and digital, but it doesn't have a speaker built in. So randomly I went on Amazon and I bought this little speaker from AYL. It was like 20 bucks. It's exactly what I need. It's, it's, uh, there's a little on off switch here, little volume knob somewhere. It charges with USB-C, there's the volume. And then this little three and a half millimeter cable just kind of goes in there and all perfect and done. And then I needed something to store it with. So the Jasons have been talking about these Maxpedition bags. So I purchased one of these. So everything fits in here. I've got a couple other accessories. Uh, I've got, which I, I found I don't need with this antenna, but I've got the tiny CMC. This is a common mode choke from N6ARA. I did a video, a build video on this a while ago. I've got this tiny little USB cable so I can connect it to my computer for digital modes. And then we have this little guy, this little key here. This is from my buddy Aaron. He makes these modern Morse keys. Let's, let's just say this is a prototype right now because I don't think he's selling them quite yet. And this one in fact is a loner and then uh, just the cable for the CW key. And yes, I've actually made two CW contacts on this, and I don't even do, do CW. I made one to uh, Mike and 8YO while we were out in Washington, and just the other day I made one uh, sitting at home hunting a guy doing POTA. So that all fits in there. So we can set up our little speaker, plug it into the audio input here, and this speaker actually expands like that, so it gives you more bass. I'm not too concerned about bass, I just want to hear the, the dulcet tones of uh, FT8. And then we can plug in our USB cable, and then we just push the button, and it turns on. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, might need an antenna. I got one of those too. So let me show you this antenna that I just built. And I actually already had this antenna, so I pulled it out of my antenna box. I took off the wire and remade it because the QMX does 60 through 15. I don't really care about 60 so much, but I made a linked dipole for 40, 20, 40, 30, 20, 17, and 15, and I used this little guy. This is the NFED half wave from Jonathan KM4CFT. He's also the one that's making that new little uh, CW transceiver. So that's the antenna. You can see I haven't even put shrink wrap on it. Just connected with some RG316 that I've secured in the picnic bench there. And then we go up, and I made these tiny little links with these little carabiners and the banana plugs and all that. So that's the 17 meter link. So when I want to get on 17, 
I just pop that out, I'm on 17. If I want to shorten this for some reason, just run 20, I've got this link here for 20 meters, and then we might not be able to see it right there is the link for 30 meters, so I can unplug that, and I'm on 30 meters, and then going all the way up with my POTA 20 carbon fiber mast up there in the trees, up there up in them trees, is 40 meters. So I have all the bands. I have everything I could ever want. So now, let's get on the air and see if we can make some contacts. So I gotta give a huge shout out to Matt K7 UAP, because when I got this and hooked it up to WSJTX, it was not reading the audio right. This audio meter was like at like 30. Um, wasn't receiving very well at all. So he hooked this up and you gotta do some magic stuff in putty, which I have no idea what to do, because this is kind of over my head. <laughs> That's why I had him build it for me. But uh, Matt fixed it and upped the levels. I think he upped them to like 65 for whatever that whatever that's worth. So I want to make two contacts per band doing POTA. We get I'm getting about four to six watts out depending on the band with this thing. So I think this is going to be fun. So let's go. Enable transmit. We're going. We're putting out six watts right now. Fantastic. Two per band. It's all I asked for. This thing is just so freaking cool. Like to be able to just pack everything in here and just travel, have a travel radio. I've got a charger for this too that I just got, but I've got to wire it. Because that's another thing with the power. You got a, uh, you know, a 12 point, they charged a 12.6, a three series uh, LiPo pack. Yes, I have a charger to do it, but I don't really have like a portable charger. So I bought this little one amp 12.6 volt lithium charger for this. It's just a little wall wart brick that'll also fit in this bag. So I'll, I'll throw a pop in on the screen here right now of that. But like everything is set. This is, I'm, this is so cool. Trying to do the one pound POTA challenge, but this still weighs more than a pound. So not gonna do that, but whatever, I don't care. I got this thing, I'm freaking happy. Should I put CQ POTA in here? Maybe, that'll, that'll stir up some business I bet. There, there we go. We just got two people coming back to us. Look at that, I'm a plus four. KB2MDR, thank you. <laughs> and look, these blue lines here are where those two guys are calling me from. So one guy's up here uh, kind of by New York. Another guy's up here in uh, either Oregon or Washington. Yeah, Washington. Let's see if we can get them. Now I got three people coming back to me. <laughs> this is gonna be tough to only do two. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There we are, all five watts, done. Let's get one more. KJ7WLL, just like that. He's in Washington. Come on, this should be the last one. It's got a good signal coming in. And there we are, 15 meters down. But now, we need to go to 17 meters, so the radio has changed, WSJTX has changed. I just gotta go unlink a link real quick. Just a lack of this. And we are unlinked. And now, shucks, I guess I might as well stay there. Let's enable CQ on 17 meters. Just over four watts here on 17 meters. Shouldn't really matter. SWR is very, very low. Very, I cut this antenna kind of towards the bottom of the uh, bands because I'm really just going to use it for uh, FT8, but it's resident on all bands that I made it for, like across the whole band. This this freaking KM4 CFT antenna is the bee's knees. All right, we're getting AE8JF in Michigan. Hey, that's my old grid square, EN82. Noise. Just like that. I mean, that was the first call. How do you like them apples? I got a bunch of people coming back to me. <laughs> How freaking cool is this? This is so cool. Got him done. Enable transmit again. And let's see who the lucky winner will be this time. Spin the wheel and win a prize. There we are. W8ATE, wait eight. Another Michigan, EN81. 
Noise. I wonder if he's around Monroe or something. Plus, I mean, these signals are fantastic. So either the QMX has a really good receiver, I built a great antenna, or both. Either way, this is fantastic. I mean, could perhaps be the bands too, but like everything's open right now. It's fantastic. It is Wednesday, October 23rd at 6 p.m. right now. Come on, wait eight. Wait eight. Remember Grape Ape? Put a comment. Have you seen Grape Ape? Did you watch that when you were a kid in the early 80s? Grape Ape. And there we are. There's two on 17 meters. Done and done. Now I'm going to go to 20 meters. I have to connect the link again. Just like that. Hear how the noise came up. Look at how packed 20 is. Grape Ape. So we're going to need to find a clear frequency here. Audio is a little high on 20 meters. See, I was in the red. I need, I'm going to need to figure out how to putty so I can lower that for 20 a little bit. Because you can't adjust anything on this. It's all, it's all, you have to putty everything, which means I need to learn how to putty. And I have to use my stupid Windows computer because getting putty on a Mac, <laughs> it's, it's there. But you got to do like 20 steps that I don't know. I, I would download some kind of computer aids on this. W9AV, Noise in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And he's a plus five. Again, just great signals today. Yeah, definitely overloading the computer there. Oh, man. You don't, you don't understand how happy I am. This is so freaking cool. Got him. Was that two or three? That was two, wasn't it? Shoot, I forgot. Yes, that was two. All right. Now we go down to 30. Got to lower the mast really quick. Undo the links and put it back up. Just like that. How fast was that? Real time? I feel like a regular Thomas Witherspoon right now. And look at all this activity on 30 meters, which I would not have been able to do had I not made a link for 30 meters. God, I love it. Let's go right here, 2000, the year 2000. Here goes nothing. Look at that, putting out about four and a half watts here. Yeah, we already got somebody coming back to us. One call. Two people coming back to us. W3 MDS in Alabama, which would be this guy here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put you in the log. We need one more on 30 here. So we'll just hit enable transmit and make one more contact on 30. God, this is freaking awesome. This is so cool. And there we are, K5VJZ in North Carolina. North Kalaki. Wow, he must be way west. He's like around Asheville, maybe Charlottesville. Minus nine, still a very respectable signal. Well, that's on his end, I'm plus 13. Or maybe he's plus 13, I don't know. But signals are still looking great. QRP Labs. <laughs> But work on that sideband thing. We need it. I need it. Do it for me. <laughs> we got him. We got him. We got him. K5 VJZ. Awesome. Now on to 40. And I'll just have to connect that 30 meter link again. Just like that. Put our mast back up. Lean into a tree. Like such. Even though you can't see it. I promise it's done. And listen to all those stations on 40. Oh, that, hear that? Get the mic close. Isn't that just music to your ears? I know a lot of guys hate FT8, but how can you deny how, how cool this is? Audio is a little high on this too, so might have to tweak that as well. But for a first run out, I ain't complaining. CQ Poter, 40 meters, full six watts out on the QMX. There's a little meter on there. You can see the 
the SWR and the power output that was in the newest firmware update that this came with. And about 11.8 volts when it's in transmit. So perfect. They say, they say to specifically do not transmit on digital with over 12 volts. That's in the, that's in the manual. That part I read. And here we are, AC9HP in Indiana. And the cool thing about this, like you don't need to mess with any ALC settings or anything. They're just like, keep the power slider all the way up and that's all you gotta do. And in a moment, we'll have Alpha Charlie 9 Hotel Papa in the log. And none of these people have any idea we're filming, but their call signs will be shown. Oh yes, they will be shown. There we are, got him. And we just need one more. Let's go to this guy here since he's calling me KN4NBJ in Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. I know. I lived there for four years in Richmond. I made a lots of love. I was in a band, you know, what are you going to do? Lead guitarist in a band is going to make a couple contacts, you know what I mean? Look at this guy's signal, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. This is so I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Uh-oh. Is he not coming back to us? Come on, baby. Don't let me don't make me have a failed contact. My rule is three and out. If you don't come back in three times, he'll come back. I, I, how can he not? His signal is strong as heck. Let's make the contact. I don't I don't think it's gonna happen, buddy. It should. Okay, this is the last chance. I'm going on to someone else. This is like five back and forths here now. I ain't playing frickin' racquetball, volleyball, pickleball. We ain't dinking this. All right, I'm hitting Hall Transmit. If he doesn't come back in the next one, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go CQ, even though it's gonna default to that. Someone else wants to work me, I'm sure. No, I'm gonna go CQ. Sorry, buddy. Can for NBJ, you didn't make the cut. This should be the last time I call CQ today. He's, he's gonna come back to me. Look at him. Look at him. But you can't complete the contact. Why do you come to me if you cannot complete the contact? It's certainly not on my end with all six watts that I'm putting out right now. Oh, see, now he's in a different location. He's over here. I thought he was over here. So he's close to like maybe Raleigh, Durham, Maybe Wilmington, somewhere around there. I don't know. He's trying. Give him A for effort. I mean, he's got a great signal. I don't, it's not, it's not working, dude. It's not working. I'm gonna go over here. I'm leaving you. Stop calling. Prank caller, prank caller. Oh, here, let's get this guy. A newbie in Alabama. I don't care where they are. We're going to do it. We are going to make the contact. It is happening. It is happening. KN4NBJ is still calling me. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's not working. Give me the 73. I need the 73. And there it is. KM, K4MJR, the 10th contact, five bands, two contacts each with the QMX. That's awesome. Although the volume doesn't go all the way down for some reason. You got to turn that down. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> All right, and I decided to come back to KN4NBJ again. We'll see if we can make it. And we did! We now have 11 contacts, huzzah! And it all fits in this bag. Beautiful. How can you not love that? Thanks for coming along with me on my first POTA with the QMX. I had zero intentions of filming this video, but I was here and the bands were right. So we will see you next time. 73 guys.